guy. Like, no, he's like, no, he's right. Crazy bearded guy is right. I need to prove right. myself. Crazy bearded guy's <laughs> never right. All right? So I'm going to fucking prove myself. Make the match. Right. Put my thing on the line, my number one contendership. Make the match. And they're like, all right. This is why people made. call you stupid. Match is made. Mm-hmm. Um, so Apollo Creed is the number one contender. Mm-hmm. As we discussed. Yeah. Cruz did beat Baron Corbin and Cruz By the way, that, that's his name forever now. He's Apollo Creed now. I, I don't care. Cool. I don't care what he calls himself. So he wins, and mm-hmm. then he mugs the Miz, and Miz mm-hmm. mugs back. So mm-hmm. that's going to go back and forth. Yeah. Let's hope that he can get as much charisma as Apollo Creed, because right now he's no. just a smile. <laughs> he really can't. He smiles and muscles. That's what yeah. he is. Somebody needs to train him how to talk or get him a fucking manager. Please. I think it'll be good. No, I think this because I think the Miz will drag a character out of him. I fucking hope so. But I mean, I'm pretty sure because if this the Miz is, is any good at anything, he's, yeah, he's good at dragging I, yeah, a promo. Like out this of you. is this is going to be what the Miz's job is on SmackDown from now until eternity is to get these guys over. Because mm-hmm. like it or hate it, Miz is a veteran now. Uh, Eve Marie did the best thing ever. Yep, agreed. She's supposed to come out fight mm-hmm. Becky. Mm-hmm. Becky comes out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Becky. Yeah, like, I'm gonna whoop your ass now. Eva comes in. Mm-hmm. It's her full entrance yep. with, like, the vivacious, the, the, voice and the greatest thing oh. ever. She's Eva Marie. Uh, Look at those cans. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pretty thing. much, yeah. The whole thing. Uh-huh. She gets on the rope, and hey, look at me. Ain't I hot? Yep. Ain't I something? Uh-huh. And then? Steps down. <laughs> ah. 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 I like, can't go. I yeah, can't go. No, I hurt myself. Happening. I just hurt myself. And the ref's like, wait, wait, wait. Don't, don't go with Becky. Get the fuck over there. What the hell are we... Oh my god, her legs hurt and fucking, oh, just, just fucking brilliant. We're done here. JBL does a phenomenal job of selling it. Like, oh my god, she hurt herself. She hurt herself. It's like, where's Michael so I can just say Michael? (laughs) So she just boogies. Yeah, she's done. Yeah. Match doesn't happen. Fuck you, smarts. Yeah, her legs (laughs) fucking hurt. Yeah, fucking brilliant. This needs to happen forever and a day. She never has to, she should never wrestle. There should always be a Until reason. she wins a belt. Yeah. Like, the first time she wrestles. Yeah, she wins a belt. Because she never yeah. needs to wrestle beforehand. It's just like, everything, like, she's gonna hurt That's her right. arm, she's gonna bang her arm on something, her fucking knees tweaked. Light in her eye. Just everything. Like, her makeup's wrong. Her makeup's oh, wrong. Guys. Oh, no, she's got a fucking, lipstick, a it's not the eyelash right. eyelash fucking hit her in the eye. Like, something. The There's lipstick's the wrong shade reasons. of red, guys. Yeah. We There's gotta go be, back. We're going to reapply. Yeah. I might come back out. We don't know. I might have to go to a fucking, you know, Savora somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> she, three months, no match. I'm telling you right now. Easy. Three months. And then Natty came out and beat up Becky, right? Mm-hmm. That's cool. That continues that. That needs to happen. American Alpha. Yep. Beat the Vod Villains. Mm-hmm. Because the Vod Villains are the driver tag team SmackDown. I knew Fuck this you. was going to happen. Yeah. I told you this was going to happen. I know, but I'm pissed off. Because that it. shit, that shit... Don't fly in front of a big crowd. And that's why I hate big crowds, because I fucking love the VOD villains so goddamn much. But... You, me, and their mamas. That's about it. I'm cool with that. And I'm still pissed that you got the t-shirt, so now I can't rely on you to fucking order in the one. Because it's not going to be around anymore. But on the plus side, yeah. we can get someone else to order it. Yeah. And on the plus side, with them on their way out, mm. it'll be super cheap. That's true. So there you go. However... Both of them, well, maybe not so much Simon Gotch, just because he's kind of a shit disturber backstage. So got his ass with Bison Gar. He did. Uh, he's probably going to get future endeavored anytime now. Uh, hopefully, Aiden English goes back to his original gimmick, mm-hmm. where he's singing the and artiste. shit like that. Yeah, the artiste. Because there's something there. There is something with he's that. He's got height. He's yeah. got a look. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, no. I mean, I would mm-hmm. say both of them have a gimmick that could work, but again, Simon Gotch is shit disturber. He's on his way out pretty quick. Yeah, but. Because he would have worked well in the cruiserweight division. He would have. Like the strong man yeah. of the cruiserweight. Yeah, exactly. So like, that fun. could absolutely work. Aiden English, there's money. Mm-hmm. Like, the singing alone, people love it. Like, even... Whether, there's, you know, there's, I think there's a little bit heat of Heat or love, whatever. There's money to be made with that guy. He could have a really good run with, like, the IC belt or the cruiserweight title. Um, AJ and John Cena cut a hell of a promo. Oof, this was good. Um, now I get it. Mm-hmm. You know, when John Cena cuts these promos, I get that a lot of people just scoff and go, "Ugh, here we go again. Uh, yeah, you love the WWE, we get it. I like when he says it. I, I Call me a loser, but I like that. Like, the guy shows that, mm-hmm. like, that's not a fucking gimmick, what he's yeah. talking about. Like, yeah. he says, like, listen, mm-hmm. if I have to fucking do the Dizay show and mm-hmm. wrestle at the same time, I will. If yeah. I gotta do movies and wrestle at the same time, I will. Mm-hmm. When I said... Mm-hmm. 
what I said about The Rock. Mm-hmm. Like, he didn't mention The Rock by name. Yeah. But he referenced, like, mm-hmm. listen, I said that I would never leave, and I'm not mm-hmm. going to. Mm-hmm. So that's great that I'm in movies, and that's great that I'm hosting award shows, and that's great that I still do wishes, and I, yeah. that's great that I do all these things. Mm-hmm. But God damn it, I'm going to do all those things, and I'm going to still wrestle. Yeah. Because I, despite how anyone feels about him, he mm-hmm. loves the WWE. Mm-hmm. Nobody loves the WWE more than John Cena. He yeah. might even love it more than Triple H, and that's saying something. That is saying something. <laughs> um, yeah, you know what, you guys might want to scoff, but I'm, I am I love when he does it. Cause it well, you know what, he, you know what people I are probably that. scoffing at? Mm. When he made the remark to AJ, like, listen, if mm. you get released here, mm-hmm. you'll just go somewhere else. He's right. That's a good... That's a good move. But did you and a hear promo. what Daniel Bryan said afterwards? No, I forgot. Because they do a talking smack thing after. Oh yeah, like, I don't watch that shit. He shot. Oh really? What did he say? He sat. He sat there and he said, "I'm offended when he said that." Really? Like, yeah, of course we're gonna go somewhere else. This is the passion we have. Mm. We all can't be John Cena. He's not wrong either. He's not wrong either. No. But I mean. Like, he finds it insulting when someone like John Cena says, well, of course, guys, like, you know, because yeah. when you say AJ, you could easily be talking to Daniel yeah, Bryan. So he, he could, took it he as, could. like, I guess he took it as, like, yeah. him saying that to him, too. I mean, of course I'd go somewhere else. I mean, he, again, I can see both sides of the coin. I can, I you know, I can see where they would be like, well, John Cena's very arrogant. It's kind of hard to see the people down there from the top of the fucking hill. That's exactly, that's He's pretty not much wrong. what he said. He's not wrong about that either, but at least, you know, at the same time, John Cena it doesn't, well, no, because I can't. I can't. Even, it's kind of hard because you're. It's kind of like trying to relate to the millionaire. You yeah, can't, you know what I mean. So he's not wrong. No, he's certainly not wrong. So I, I really don't think I can defend. I mean, I'm pretty sure I don't think John Cena had meant anything by it, other than to cut down AJ Styles. But because um, you know, again, this is wrestling, folks. He's cutting a promo, whether he's saying all this shit or not. He's still cutting a promo. So mm-hmm. you know. I don't know. I liked it. So what can I say? Yeah, he brought you know, up the I kids. He brought way, up the you know? dads and yeah. bring up the parents going. Thank you, yeah. you know, for what you did, what mm-hmm. you do, and what you do mm-hmm. for, like, you know, mm-hmm. you fucking, you, you're pretty much a hero to my kid and all mm-hmm. that stuff, and I'm sure he does, I'm sure he gets fucking tons of parents walking oh, yeah. up to him every day going, I need to thank you because yeah. my kid is happier because you, you're, you exist. Yeah, you exist, you're, you know, you're And like, I said before, I said it again, yeah. I just, mm. I wouldn't know how to handle that, mm. personally. No, fuck no, 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 to no, To know no. that you're an actual, like, hero, to, Children, did you to sculpting minds? I'm taking like young it, minds. I take it you didn't watch the uh, the podcast that uh, Dean Ambrose. Uh, Stone Cold. I don't actually watch any yeah, of those. I did. Um, I, I, all, did, I did hear the laziness comment from Brock Lesnar. Though, like, yeah, he <laughs> kind of buried him a bit. Um, that was fucking hilarious. Because yeah, no, he basically uh, said like you, Dino. Dean was just like, "Hey, I was throwing everything at him just to be like, well, we could do this, we could do this,' and I met with nothing but no and laziness." He's like, he Ooh, he literally was just like, I went out there at WrestleMania, and I didn't know what we were going to do, because Brock didn't want to do anything. That's just Brock Lesnar. And he was just like... Because Brock Lesnar don't give a yeah. fuck. But he did say one thing that, was, that made me laugh, because I think he was trying to be like, okay, I don't want to get fired. He was just sort of like, but you know what? It's fun, is that you're going out there, facing a guy who could literally kill you, and you don't know what's going to happen. That's kind of fun. But um, he did say, he even said to like to Steve, um, he was just sort of like, like I'm the champion, like I've done, you know, he worked hard and blah, blah, blah. And then he goes, the weirdest thing about the whole thing is, I'm a role model. Probably shouldn't be, but I am. I don't take that lightly. It's really, really strange. And that to me is like, the epitome of a regular guy going, people are looking up to me. What the fuck? And am that's I only to do like that? a handful of people. Yeah. We're ta- like when you're talking about like John Cena global scale, yeah. like he's Hulk Hogan. He is Hulk Hogan. He is the new Hulk Hogan. He has been for a very long time, longer yeah. than Hulk Hogan was Hulk Hogan. Um, it's... So say what you will. <laughs> yeah. We've said it on yeah. this show. Yeah. I mean, I mean well, there's all there. There's there's people who will never let it go. John Cena's the worst. Yeah. I get it. We've come around. We were that, yeah, but you know what? We used to say, even when we didn't like John Cena as the wrestler, we used to make the joke of, like, you know, we don't like him as a wrestler, but we really respect uh, Jonathan H. Cena. Yeah, the person. The guy. The man. Like, if you don't respect John Cena as a person, you're an asshole. Like, when does he sleep? He doesn't. <laughs> when does he fuck his gorgeous girlfriend? 
Like, I can't imagine that he has like, time for have, that. When do you have time to just live and just be a person? There's no way he does. Because you're I mean, shaking hands with celebrities, yeah. you're hosting shows, mm-hmm. you're meeting with sick children. Everywhere you go. Um, and you're ho- you're hosting morning shows, and yeah. you're just like, why? Like, how? And then you show, and then they're like, oh, well, I'm going to go be in a couple movies now. Like, he does not sleep. He doesn't live. He doesn't have a life. So I get it. It's, it's whenever he gets that fervor and he mm-hmm. gets the passion and the hustle, loyalty, respect. I mm-hmm. get it. In yeah. a way, it's cheesy. That's sure. fine because it's anything. Because in the society we live in today, anything that is positive is is automatically labeled as cheesy. Christ. Because long, we're because we're jaded <laughs> fucking assholes here. How long did it take for the new day to get over? You know it what I mean? It wasn't until they were assholes that they got over. So, <laughs> I get that that's the world we live in. <clears throat> yes. And on the other side of the coin, AJ was mm-hmm. fantastic. Mm-hmm. And that's saying something, because mm-hmm. AJ Styles is not, like Daniel Bryan, not known to be killer on the mic. Oddly enough, I have a story about that with AJ Styles. Um, a mutual friend of ours went to Comic-Con this year. Mm-hmm. And he's not a big wrestling fan by any stretch, but the way Comic-Con works, he ended up, he was trying to see another panel, got sucked into another line where he ended up in the, the um, WWE figure panel. Mm-hmm. And New Day was there, as was AJ Styles. And he told me recently, like, I, I was hanging out with him on Sunday, and he was just like, oh yeah, New Day, they were awesome. I don't know who they are, but they were really cool. Then there was some guy, AJ, and like, AJ Styles, he goes, yeah, yeah, that was it. He, yeah, he was, the guy. <laughs> he, yeah, he was like, well, that, he was all right. He's just a southern guy. Like, New Day was up, up and dancing around. And AJ was just just a guy. And he's like, yeah, he was, just, he was fine. He was just very Southern. He was like, yeah, how you doing? I'm AJ Styles. Like, he was like, I, there was no charisma there whatsoever. And I'm like, yeah, that sounds about right. That's the usual. Hence, this promo was different. Mm-hmm. It was strange to see. Which like he point. like he showed the passion of yeah. like I like to do my favorite thing mm-hmm. beat up John Cena yeah. but like I need to do something I need to beat you I need mm-hmm. to defeat you I need to do it on on a big stage like SummerSlam mm-hmm. because I need to embarrass you yep. I need to like I need to like I need to, I need I need to prove a point here <laughs> like I'm not just I'm not just a wrestler I mm-hmm. want to fucking beat up John Cena I want to beat up John Cena and like crush the legend mm-hmm. not that anyone hasn't done this promo yeah a lot like, of people before him has <clears throat> come up and wanting to do the same thing crush the legend of John Cena and a AJ is probably not gonna do it no, no one's gonna do it because you can't no because he is literally the face that runs the place mm-hmm. but overall the AJ side of it the Cena side of it mm-hmm. it was a killer promo it was it's gonna be a killer match mm-hmm. I know that I it's an unpopular opinion yep I don't care if AJ wins or not. Nope. As long as the match matter. is dynamite. Which it will be. Because, you know what? Bray Wyatt's doing okay. He's not mm-hmm. He's not doing great, but no. he's doing okay. He's doing fine. He didn't get buried by losing to him. Nope. Rusev's in one of the biggest programs going right now. Mm-hmm. So, that didn't hurt him at all. So, um, if AJ loses <clears throat> the feud, quote-unquote... Mm-hmm. Kevin Owens, anyone? You know, Kevin Owens is doing fine. Mm-hmm. I get that none of these people are quote unquote world champions or competing for world title belts, but it's not like they're in obscurity. Yeah. You you still see these people, right? You know they exist, yeah. So I get that he won't win the feud in the whole things of wins no. and losses. No. Like he'll have more losses than wins. But if mm-hmm. the matches are dynamite <coughs> yeah. which the matches the matches that they had before are gonna be were great. Mm-hmm. And this match is probably the best out of all because mm-hmm. this is at SummerSlam. This is the second biggest stage mm-hmm. next to WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. And They now know how to work with each other. They've done this a few times. They got the kinks out. It's going to be a phenomenal bust-ass match, as uh, Stone Cold would say, because I just literally finished listening to his podcast. So there you go. There you go. Match is going to be great. Yeah. Orton beat Dango, Uh because he's still working out the kinks. Mm Mm-hmm. Brock came in. Mm Mm-hmm. At five. Yep. Fucking general manager came out. Go get him out of here. Try. Yeah. Yeah. Tranquilizer guns. Call the army. Yeah. Um, (laughs) Call the navy. (laughs) What do we do with angry gorillas? Um, (laughs) Really, like, when yeah. he gets like yeah. we're all worked up, he looks like yeah, a angry fucking, gorilla. He looks like a big angry gorilla. Yeah, he's the biggest angry. He's fucking King Kong. You know, like yeah. he just bruh, 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 like he's off his fucking meds. <laughs> he needs his num nums. We don't want to talk about what. Oh, well, not those meds. Hey, he's on those meds. Yeah, he's that's on those proven, ones. Yeah, scientifically that, proven. That's happened. Those. That's why he's. Uh, yeah, they need the army, and they need to get him off the Empire State Building. You know. But that was fun. It was. Watching him rampage through yep. the fucking local town. It was like the video game rampage. Rampage. It really it was, was. Fantastic. Just running through the local town, mm-hmm. dressed like security guards. Yep. Danny Bryan and Slater. Mm. 
You yeah. gotta sign me, baby. I'm the greatest. I'm the greatest free agent. Sure. He's like, all right.